think that's a question that people have is why, right? So why did Dylan mm -hmm. do this? Um, and I know you talk in the book about lots of folks' theories about that, media and others, but I'm interested in what are your thoughts mm -hmm. on that question? Well, first of all, the likelihood that someone you love, that a child that you have will take part in a school shooting, the chances of that happening are one in millions. So this is not an everyday occurrence. This is not something that every parent should be concerned about, that his or, or her child will become a uh, school shooter. The far more dangerous thing for our children is how many of them have thoughts of suicide and self-harm. And if we look at a murder-suicide, such as the Columbine tragedy, murder-suicide is a small subset of suicidality perhaps one to two percent of suicides will result in the killing of someone else. So my recommendation is that we focus very much on trying to understand suicide and trying to prevent suicide so that these things don't erupt into a terrible tragedy. Um, you did ask uh, why this happened and in the book I talk about I think the more effective question to ask is how does this happen? What is the mechanism through which one's thinking deteriorates? And the way I have come to explain this to myself is really a medical model. If we look at suicide and consider it to be a health risk as we would heart disease or diabetes, we know that there are many factors involved. There's personality and how the person interacts and views his world. Uh, there are biological factors that show that someone might have a tendency to think or act or eat or live in a certain way. Um, there are environmental factors, and that's not just the home, but it can also be the school culture or the national culture. And especially with suicide, there are triggering factors. There are s things that occur in one's life, such as bullying or arrests, that can impact the risk that one is having. So my answer to that question is what happened to Dylan was a very rare set of circumstances that overlapped perfectly, if you want to look at it in a Venn diagram of interlocking circles, where everything came into play of meeting um, a friend who was very, uh, possibly very disturbed, very controlling, very angry, Dylan's own vulnerability, his own wish to die, his pain that he was in, his psychological pain, uh, bullying events that they experienced together in the school, all of those factors came together in what turned out to be the horrible perfect storm.